On October 14, 1947, Captain Charles Yeager shattered the sound barrier, propelled man into the future. And the search began for a new breed of men, men who were fearless. You've heard about our project. Sounds dangerous. It's very dangerous. Count me in. I've got a rocket in my pocket and a roll in my wall. Ambitious. Who's the best pilot you ever saw? You're looking at it, baby. Patriotic beyond question. I just thank God I live in a country where the best and the finest in a man can be brought out. My pleasure to introduce to you America's Mercury Astronauts! Seven men who would risk their lives in a hurtling piece of machinery to cross the threshold of space. It takes a special kind of man to volunteer for a suicide mission, especially when it's on TV. You know, the government spends just all kinds of time and money teaching you pilots how to be fearless. They don't spend a damn penny teaching you how to be the fearless wife of a test pilot. They were idolized by the public. Hi, which one are you? Shepard. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Well, which one's Glenn? He's the one I want to meet. Heralded by the media. Uh, gentlemen, can you tell us if any of you go to church regularly? As far as church goes, I attend regularly. But behind the image, they were human beings. Human beings with real fears. If anybody goes up in the damn thing, it's going to be spam in a can. Frustrations. What happened? He blew the hatch! I did not do anything wrong! The hatch just blew! It was a glitch! It was a, a technical malfunction! Conflicts. You're going to think of the broader interests of this program. You are way out of line here! I'm out of line? Yes, sir! I'm running this show here! We'll see about that! Disappointments. Aren't we going to the White House, Gus? Nah. No ticker tape parade in New York? And no Jackie? Pressures. There's another hold from NASA, another delay. What can be going through a man's mind at this moment? Gordo, I have to urinate. No. Tell him he cannot. Uh, say, listen, old buddy. Uh, they promise we'll stop at the next gas station. They request that you remain in a holding pattern till then. <laughs> This is the story of the special few at the very top. The elite brotherhood whose achievements inspired a nation and captured the imagination of the world. These are the men who had the right stuff. They all want to see Buck Rogers, and that's us. Hey, 